my dear student today we shall continue with the chapter 7 that is about the volcanoes now in this chapter that i have already discussed that about the what is volcanoes and what are the types of volcanoes now today i am going to discuss that about the effects of volcanic eruption now always we know that the volcanic eruption means is a thing very harmful for us so we never thought that is been also some effective or some constructive part also will get from the volcanic eruption something good will happen due to the volcanic eruption but it's absolutely wrong that due to the volcanic eruption the two things only happen that few things it been construct also and few things it will be destruct also means the destructive way also will get the volcanic eruption and the constructive way also will get the volcanic eruption so what is the constructive effects the first is the first constructive effect of the volcanic eruption and the constructive effects and the destructive effects now discuss about the first one about the constructive effects of volcanic eruption means what are the things are being built due to the volcanic eruption suppose sometimes the volcanic is occurring that time those are the lava it will come outside that time it will store solidified and will store and afterward it will convert as a hard materials or sometimes it make the hard plateaus or any mountain so this type the plateaus is known as a volcanic plateau so this is one of the landform that is built by the volcanic eruption what the mountain it will can form so this type the mountain called the volcanic mountain so this type the constructive things it being made due to the volcanic effects now we go for this curve this one that fast the lava give the raise the fertile soil and the may when the lava are been sprayed with the soil sometimes they mix with the soil and specially due to the mixing of the volcanic or the lava that can be and can form the black soil or the volcanic plateau it will form in this the first one second one the geyser and the spring are the tourist attraction for the medieval point for due to the chemical dissolving them so those are the geyser or the geyser and the hot spring that being offered you know what is the geyser or the hot spring that geyser is that for in some area suddenly from by the natural without any involvement of human being from suddenly from the inside the earth surface if the water fall it start to be erupt or the water it start to be erupt from the upwards that time this movement is known as the uh, hot spring and the hot due to the hot spring so there is a, also the warm water it come outside from the but in a water amount it will the less but in the geyser time or the geyser time when the hot water does suddenly start to erupt from the inside the earth inside from the inside of the earth surface and into the ground portion that time it can occur that it can occur suddenly and in particular interval of time it not a continuous process that the particular interval of time will be occur now if the question will come that what is the main difference differences between the geyser and hot spring what to write that the geyser it's also the hot water but when it come out it not come in a continuous way the geyser come the hot water being erupted due to the geyser or the geyser that in a particular interval of time okay now in the those are the hot spring when the water start to erupt that in a continuous way or the continuous process that is the first difference the second difference is the the amount of water that come out by the hot spring in a very little amount or very less from the geyser but in the geyser time that the water being come out that is very huge amount so this is what the main difference between the hot spring and the geyser and the next is some crater lakes are being formed that offer to the scenic attraction for the tourist so this like the geyser or the hot spring or the crater lake it being the good for the tourist attraction and the many tourists throughout of the year they have to came in this portion or the particular places to seeing or the to visiting the places or see or seeing this natural beauty and most of the volcanic rocks when it expose on the surface are the storehouse of the metal and the minerals and many volcanic rocks when it come that time it make the storehouse of the minerals because that whenever this type the volcanic eruption or the a lava or magma it being come outside that can not only the hot molten rocks will come with it the different the minerals are also being erupt from the inside the earth surface and it store or it deposit inside the earth surface that make the storehouse of the different minerals so that is why so these are the different the constructive part of the volcanoes 
So you have to understand it. What are the constructive part of the volcanoes? The first of all, that when the lava is being come out due to the volcanic eruption, this lava it helps to formation of the volcanic plateau. It spread over the large area and they form the volcanic plateau when they solidify and they store up. Due to this, they have to form the volcanic plateau. Either when the lava, they have to solidify, make the cone-like structure and they form the volcanic mountain also. And the third is that due to the volcanic eruption when it occurred, that time sometimes geyser or the hot spring is being formed. And this hot spring or the geyser is very attractive for the tourist people. The throughout of the year, many tourists they have to visit for this natural or the scenic beauty. To want to see their scenic beauty or the natural beauty. And the third is the when some of the rivers or the crater logs, the crater lakes or the rivers when it formed due to this volcanic eruption. That when the many people they have to want to see for this uh, scenic beauty of the crater or the people sometimes utilize also. And the most of the rocks that when the volcanic eruption is occurred, not only the lava is being erupted due to the volcanic eruption. With the lava, the few amount of the minerals is also being erupted. So these minerals are also being useful for us or it being stored inside the soil being very useful for ourselves also. So these are the reasons for the constructive effects of the volcanoes. Now the next is the, so next you have to understand then about the constructive effects. So today I have to read fast about the constructive effects. In my next class I will discuss about the destructive effects of the volcano. Okay, thank you.